All right, my friends, today is, uh, I believe, day seven. Obviously, that is build days, not chronological days. Went into town before work this morning, picked up roofing tin. So over lunch, I'm going to try and get the tin out of the truck and maybe get those last six purlins stapled up there, nailed. Um, the roofing company talked me into going on two foot on center as opposed to four foot on center. They said that the 26 gauge tough rib that I got would work on a four foot on center, but they just strongly recommended. And for the extra cost of six 12 foot two by fours, I thought, mm, why not? I mean, I don't want the roof to have issues after everything else I put into this. For as uh, short term as I want this tin on the ground, I'm thinking this will be okay. I can take the four sheets, slide it right up to this side. The other four I'll have to carry around. There's nowhere on the other side to put sheets without blocking the driveway. No one's going to pay attention to stuff on the ground that visits me. So um, we're going to stack it all here and deal with it later. Let's start unpacking. Whee! A little bit of wind. And obviously the wind decides to kick up right as I carry this thing over here. The first sheet is, uh, I think what they call it, it's um, basically sacrificial scrap, it's protective cover so that nothing happens to all the other sheets in shipping. Wind died down. It's gonna wait to pick up till after I grab this next piece. This is a little bit on the heavy side because I opted to go price delta to go from 29 to 26 gauge was not a whole lot. So I thought, why not just go 26? And also when I placed the order, since I had four foot on center, they said that 26 gauge would be recommended Grand total for this roof, I think the 26 gauge ran me $35, $40 more than the bag of screws to match and then got the uh, ridge cap and drip edges underneath it so now take these extra two by sixes and make them into the purlins If I was smart, I'd grab a bunch of nails and then crawl up here and work my way up the roof. This thing's pretty darn solid now.
I've been thinking about how I get the roofing tin up there and how I get it to stay in place while I screw it down. Working with tin in the past, getting these screws started, they're not just magic zip, zip, zip. They take a little bit of a finesse to get them going. I believe what I'm going to do is put a piece up there, get it lined up, and then use some clamps and clamp it to the purlins in the right place. So roofing tin, I've done this before, not on a build from scratch, but like my carport, I've added to it. I've added tin a couple other places. You buy these little screws that have the rubber washer, screw them in there so it makes things waterproof. Best thing is find a drill bit that's magnetic so you can put them in, move on with life. There's no great way to deal with this stuff in the wind. Oh, it's actually going to stay there pretty well by itself. Interesting. What we do want to do is get this first piece just right. I don't want it too far over because then these edges don't clamp on. Right, we need to get this direction correct. I also want to get the height just right. I gave myself a little bit of slop. Like I said, I got 10 foot, two inch, 10 foot, three inch boards. Excuse me, 12 foot. See, that gives me quarter inch down here, overlap. If I put it all the way up. I think we're gonna make it more overlap down there, make it flush with the top of this two by four, this tube purlin up here. And there is a drip edge that we'll put on here that'll cover all these edges. We'll get there. Yeah, that gives me a nice, about a three quarter inch, maybe one inch overlap. Drip edge will go under there. Water will run off anything that sticks and goes up under will hit the drip edge and drip down. I like that. Boy, I'll tell you what, if I knew what I was doing, I'd be in trouble. And what you probably do is set this to a certain torque level. Let's try 10 first. Because I don't want to make them too tight. I don't want to crush the washers too much. And also, if I was smart, I was at a chalk line, which I don't have. Lots more screws to put in. Second sheet. We just set it up where it overlaps the first one. 
We'll put our screws right in that series right there. Yes, I screwed up there, I wasn't thinking. Ignore that. And then we'll just keep working our way across. Not quite sure why you guys didn't tell me the battery was dead on the camera while I was up on the roof, but whatever. We got a roof on this side. Is it perfect? No. Nothing I do is perfect. Is it gonna keep chickens dry? Yes. We still have trim, right? I got my drip edge. There's a uh, ridge cap that I got for the top. There's a, I was gonna use a drip edge over here cause it's just two by four edges, but they have a piece that actually clamps all the way around that I could exchange my drip edge for that piece. It starts up here, and I forget what it's called, but like goes over here, comes up and around and covers. So if you have to cut this, you don't have any problems. We'll try a piece of drip edge, see what it looks like. And if it, before we drill any holes in it, if it doesn't work, we'll change it out to the other piece. <coughs> And there we go. We have a roof. All the screws are in. I need to do uh, trim work, but we're mostly dry inside. For any, anyone that cares, this silly little rigid drill, two amp hour battery, put a Almost a whole bag of screws in, still half charge. Day seven, gonna call it quits. And uh, let's take a quick look at what we got done. So on day seven, it's darker on the inside now because we have most of a roof. We put up the extra purlins, so I now have two foot gap between all the purlins instead of four. Still haven't done little things like fix that, but seeing how long this overhang is, I am totally feeling safe about putting chicken wire here and allowing ventilation, not worry about rain. Obviously, I still need to do my trim on the edge and my trim over here. Need to do my ridge cap. That's this pile. But we have a roof. Ha! Day seven was quasi-productive. Starting to look pretty good. Getting to be happy. Pretty soon. We'll put doors on the front and the floor in, and then we'll be really close to letting the chickens loose. Catch y'all next time.